Welcome to our new edition of Sunday Night Daily Iowan TV Sports. I'm Ashlyn Bauer, she's Alyssa Klosterman, and fifth quarter football is here. It was another week for Iowa inside Kinnick Stadium in their last non-conference game of the season. Football reporter Taylor Brooks was on the sideline for Iowa's matchup against the Mean Green and has the highlights. It was a homecoming for some here in Iowa City, North Texas's head coach Dan McCarney, their quarterback Andrew McNulty, but it probably wasn't the homecoming that they were wanting. As Iowa proved once again, they aren't the team that everyone thought they were going to be. Let's head to the first quarter. Right from the opening kickoff, it was Desmond King who got the ball in his hands and fought down the field for 30 yards. This would set up Jordan Kinsier's epic game in the next play where he ran for 29 yards for a first down. Four plays later, Kanzieri would run in for the 16-yard touchdown to put Iowa up early 7-0. It was four drives later where Iowa would score again after quarterback C.J. Beathard threw to wide receiver Jake Hillier for a 16-yard completion. That ended up in another touchdown for Kanzieri for 10 yards. Iowa up 14-0. Heading into the second quarter, North Texas tries to crawl back from a 14-point deficit when they get on the board from a 38-yard field goal by Trevor Moore. But Iowa answers right back in the next drive for a Beathard completion for 43 yards to tight end George Kittle. Beathard's completion rate was not five, six, or seven in a row. It was 15 pass completions in a row for Beathard. And the throwing arm continued as Iowa was handing it to North Texas to put them up 28-6 with an 81-yard pass to senior Tavon Smith. Seemed like it was almost too late as Iowa was edging the mean green by 22 points going into the third quarter. Iowa kept the score on the rise as Kanziri scored his fourth touchdown of the day, putting up Iowa 42-16. It wasn't just Iowa's offense that kept the tempo, it was their defense too. Josie Jewell with the interception to take it downtown for 34 yards. Closing up in the fourth quarter, it was an opportunity for some of the backup men to step in, and that's exactly what they did. It was running back Akram Wadley who got the chance when he scored a, for a two-yard touchdown. Iowa's backups kept the surge going as Bo Bauer beyond sealed the deal with an interception, 88 yards to the end zone. Final score, Iowa stomps North Texas 62-16. We will see if Iowa is the real deal when they head into conference play next weekend at Wisconsin. But for now, I'll send it over to Katie Reber, who tells us about one offensive player who is making his mark every single week. Katie. Thanks, Taylor. Last season, it was Mark Wiseman that was punching in the touchdowns here at Kinnick Stadium, but this season, the name of the game is Jordan Kanziri. Leading his team to 4-0 with four touchdowns, this running back had 115 yards with 22 carries with the win against North Texas. Kanziri had two touchdowns in the first quarter and carried this momentum into the second as he ran one more touchdown in right before the two-minute warning. When we have those plays, obviously, it uh, just creates you know, it was a huge excitement. Fans were definitely excited as Jordan Kanziri closed out the third quarter with his fourth touchdown of the day where his airborne action was a little unexpected. But, you know, I didn't really, didn't happen the way I panned out, still landed on my feet, but, you know, it's obviously just awesome to get that uh, touchdown in. With his four touchdowns in the victory against North Texas, Kanziri tied the school record for most rushing touchdowns in a single game. But for Jordan, his first focus is not his personal records. And it's not one of those things that I care for about getting a certain amount of yards or getting a certain amount of carries or whatever. It's just, you know, it's a team success. That's all that matters is getting the W. Running in eight touchdowns through the first four games of the season, Jordan Kanziri leads the Big Ten in rushing touchdowns and is tied for fourth in the nation. Uh, the point I'm making there is he's really playing a well-rounded game right now, which is great to see. Inside Kinnick Stadium, this is Katie Reber with Daily Iwin TV Sports. It seems so bare in the stands compared to last game. That's for sure, but I'll take a Hawkeye blowout any day. Same here. On Monday's show, we continue our coverage of Iowa football where Taylor Brooks is back with us as she checks out one group that is slowly making offensive presence. But before we send you back to the news desk, Hawkeye Trivia is back. Let's see how the fans did this week. What is Iowa's record against North Texas? Oh gosh. Um, 10 and 4. Oh, final answer? Yes, yes. yes. Final answer. Final answer. Failure. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh! Yes, we never <laughs> played them! They've never played them. Name one player from last year's team who was drafted to the NFL. Um, oh, Brandon Sheriff. Yep. Very nice. Carl Davis. Carl Davis. Oh, James Sheriff. Yeah, Brandon Sheriff. Yeah, yes. yeah. No, really. no, Wait, don't years. listen.
Who coached here before head coach Kirk Ferentz? Aiden Fry. Nice. Aiden Fry. Aiden Fry. How long was Marshall Kane's field goal last week to win the game? Seven yards. Ooh, the 57 yards! <laughs> to win the Seven yards! <laughs>